Okay, today we're going to show how to apply an aggregate to a CIM coating. Uh, we're going to apply the materials over a plywood substrate, half of which was a primed with CIM 61TN primer, the bottom section here, and the other half that we used the CIM EMT primer. Uh, the important thing whenever you're putting an aggregate in is you need to make sure that you get your minimum thickness on your base coat. So today we're going to be applying the CIM 1061 material at a thickness of about 60 mils. We're going to allow that to set up for an hour or two and then we're going to apply a thin tack coat of CIM and then broadcast in two different types of aggregate. Um, one being a roofing granule which is going to give us more of an aesthetic look and a lighter color and then the other being a boiler slag which is going to give us a, it's a much more angular aggregate that's better for vehicular traffic and then if you're trying to put an additional coating on top of that it'll accept those coatings pretty well. So our first step is to apply the CIM 1061 to this surface at about 60 mils. So we've applied the CIM coating, now we're just going to take a quick reading to make sure that we've got our minimum of 60 mils in the area that we applied the CIM to. Okay, we're going to take our wet film thickness and we want to get a minimum of 60 mils. So here you'll see that I've got 70 mils of CIM applied to the surface, which is a good coverage rate. And on the other side. So for our base coat, we've achieved our minimum required thickness of 60 mils for, the, for our base coat application. We're going to allow this to set up for a couple hours. We're going to come back and then just put down a thin tack coat over the top of that and then broadcast our aggregates to refusal into that top coat. Okay, so we've allowed the CIM to cure enough that when you touch it, it doesn't transfer to your finger. And so now it's ready for the thin tack coat. On the tack coat, the thickness of your tack coat is going to be dependent upon the size of the aggregate that you're going to use. In this case, we've got 3060 mesh aggregate, and so we're going to try to put down a 10 to 15 mil tack coat. So I've already mixed up my CIM, and I'm just going to brush and then maybe back roll this onto the, onto the surface, just with a real light coat. We don't want to have too much of the material there because the aggregate will just sink. We want enough material so that you can encapsulate it, uh, with some exposed aggregate on the top. So I'm just going to put down a nice thin coat and then we'll back roll it to ensure that we've got the right thickness. Okay, I'm going to put my gloves on, which I should have had on before. Apply a little more over here and then back roll. So you want to make sure that you've got the CIM everywhere so that there's no spots without the liquid because those will show up as shiners when you go to take off the aggregate that you broadcast for refusal. So we've got the one coat on there. I'm just going to take a roller just to make sure that it's routinely applied everywhere on the sample. We're a little heavier on this side, so I'm going to try to pull a little material off. We can take a quick wet mill reading and see what we're getting for thickness. But what we're looking for is about 10 to 15 mils. Okay, so right there we're around 12 on this side. We're a little heavier on this side, so I may try to get a little of that material off. Right there we're around 20 mils. So let me see if we can't thin that out just a little bit. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so now we're gonna take our aggregate and we're just going to broadcast it to refusal. And you could do it with a spreader. There's some backpack spreaders that it can be done with. A lot of people just shovel it in. But you want to make sure that you've 100% covered the surface. Okay, 
And this here is the boiler slag or the Black Beauty, which is really designed to, um, it's more angular, so it can accept further applications of any other paint on top of it, or it can be used as a vehicular surface. Over here, we're gonna use the roofing granules, just to give us a little bit of a re reflective coat. And you can see we're changing the black CIM to, to white. And this one actually has some gray mixed into it as well. And just trying to make sure we get the edges. The edges can sometimes be a little bit light. And so what we're gonna allow this to do is we're gonna let it set up. Typically, we would be the next day to come back, sweep off the excess and then you'd be ready for service. Um, so we'll, we'll show you again after the samples are fully cured. So now we've let the CIM set up uh, the next day and you simply come back and you brush off the excess aggregate. And once you do that, you end up with, a, with an aggregate surface. So you'll see in this area, we were able to get the aesthetically, more aesthetically pleasing white material. And over here, we have a, uh, more angular aggregate that can be used for vehicular driving areas and also to paint with other coatings.